Hey guys, Paul here with Gear Test TV, and today I'm going to be doing a quick video just to unbox the Ruggerd dry case. So essentially, I'm unboxing a box inside a box. All right, so we are opening the Ruggerd dry case box. They just came out with this new line of dry cases. Um, the cool thing about them is that they have a uh, small electric dehumidifier that actually sits inside the case. Um, this is something that Ruggerd calls, they don't call it waterproof, they call it weatherproof, which uh, my understanding of the difference is essentially just that something that's waterproof, you should be able to essentially submerge, uh, submerge it in water and be perfectly fine. With weatherproof, it's more just that you should be fine if you have the box outside and it starts raining or uh, something of that sort. So, should still be great for any type of environment that is very humid or wet, or especially if you do outdoor shooting, uh, if you're gonna be staying outside for a long time, maybe um, wildlife photography or videography, something like that, or just for keeping the camera protected inside. That's probably what I'll be using it for most of the time uh, living here in Georgia where it gets super humid. So I said at the beginning of the video that this was going to be unboxing a box inside a box. I guess this is actually unboxing a box inside a box inside a box. So we kind of got some box inception going on here. But wow, this is a monster. Oh, there's a little piece of literature in here. Um, let me see if I can set this up here. So that you guys can actually see the case. This says Ruggerd portable dry case. It essentially just has all of the information, a quick overview, some specs on the back. Um, it has on the top what they call a high hydrometer, a hydrometer which displays relative humidity level, which right now is a 50, which it says is optimal range. So I guess that's pretty good, but I'm going to open it. I'm um, just initially looking on the outside of the case. I'm pretty impressed, it definitely feels solid. Um, I really like the handle, it has a little rubber grip on the top, so that will be really nice for carrying it around, especially uh, if you are in a wet environment. It also has a little open and close knob on the top. I can't remember 100% what that's for, but I'm gonna pull this out here. They came out with a couple of uh, different versions, a couple of different sizes of this case. This one's the 22.4 liter, I believe, and it also has, uh, they don't all come with a fabric insert, the little padded insert, but um, I got the one that does have it. So let me set that to the side for a second. Looks like the lock here, um, it's similar to many other locking cases you would see. It just uh, flips up and then pulls back down. The lock seems pretty secure. There is a seal right across the uh, top. The top of the box just has a little plastic groove and then I can see there's a, looks like some type of foam seal that they have around the outside of the lid, which is that weatherproof seal that they're talking about to keep it um, completely dry on the inside of the box. Set that aside for a second, and I will open up this fabric insert. Since I will primarily be using this for camera gear, I definitely wanted the fabric insert to be able to um, carry, carry stuff around, keep it a little bit better protected and organized. Um, the inside of this, it's about what you would expect as far as padding goes from any uh, camera bag. 
I see the dehumidifier here, so we'll take a look at that in a second. Um, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's just little foam, uh, foam padding with little dividers that you can move around. They have the Velcro straps on it, just like pretty much any um, camera bag that you see. This is the shoulder strap that's gonna connect to, well, I'm just now noticing, it looks like you can connect it to either this case itself, or the, you can connect it to the fabric insert itself or to the, the dry case. So um, that's interesting, gives you a couple of different little options there. The top of this does have a handle and a zipper. I guess we'll find out if the dehumidifier is rugged because I just dropped it on the floor. Um, this zips closed, so that's just a little extra protection beyond just being inside the box. Um, I'm not gonna, you guys know what a shoulder strap looks like. I'm not gonna bother unpackaging this right now. So this is the little electric, it's a renewable dehumidifier. So my understanding is that you just leave it sitting in the box, you turn it on and however often you need to, you can plug it into the wall and renew it or recharge it. We have more information specifically on the dehumidifier. Weighs 11.2 ounces. You guys can probably find all of that information on the website for this thing. So this is kind of interesting. I'm sure I need to read the paperwork to fully understand how to operate this thing. But I see it has uh, some little beads on the inside here, which is probably what that maraca sound is. And it shows uh, on the, the sticker on the front that you need to recharge once they turn to a more light uh, pinkish purplish color. As of right now, they're in the ready stage, which is almost completely blue, a kind of purplish blue. So this just sits in one of the openings in the, uh, in the box that just kind of helps absorb um, the moisture that's in the box, keep everything dry. And the cool thing about this is that it has a little uh, sliding tab on the top and that's what slides the prongs out to plug this into the wall to recharge it. Oh. Do not eat the silica gel. I think there's plenty of room inside this thing for um, any type of electronics that you want to carry with you. It's not gonna be your, you know, carry everything, including the tripod and all of that, but um, any microphones, lenses, audio recorders, cameras especially, um, anything like that, I mean, it's, it's a decent size. So overall, I really like it. I think it's gonna work well for just keeping cameras uh, safe and protected from humidity and moisture, things like that. Uh, whether I'm out and about doing a field shoot or uh, just even keeping the camera stuff safe at home when it's not in use. So that's about it. If you guys are interested in me doing uh, more of a review on this thing, after I've had some time to use it, then post it in the comments section below and let me know that you're interested in that. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video.